there was a kid walking down the street and three young guys had jumped out and damn she fucking did that through clinch teeth she about to slip she about to slip yeah. up yeah. She was... <laughs> you heard that shit <laughs> if she was high she would have said nigger or drunk or she's like yeah, drunk, drunk or high yeah anything would have just she she had to be fully coach, cogent, coherent, and sober to not to make that slip. Good God, <laughs> you white people, like yo, it's crazy. <laughs> you know the the craziest thing about this is if I was like Alexander Barron, right, and I was from another country, and I just watched the news and heard the fucking mainstream propaganda about um the u.s and i heard that black people were moving into white areas i would be worried about the black people i'd be like oh shit these racist whites are gonna start killing these black people who are moving into neighborhoods the way the news is portraying it but it's the opposite Actually, that happens. Press one. <laughs> it's actually the opposite. <laughs> like literally, it's literally the opposite that happens. Time to stop a brutal assault on a 14-year-old off of Lakewood Avenue South Sunday morning. There was a kid walking down the street, and three young guys had jumped out and took his phone and started beating him. Eleanor says when she realized a crime was unfolding, she sprang into action. Screamed and had them stop and gave some comfort to the uh, victim who was uh, just 14 years old. She says the victim was walking to a friend's house when he was attacked. They beat him in the head and face. There were probably, I mean, I witnessed at least seven to eight punches landed on the kid's face and head. And so um, I spoke with his mother. He seems to be doing okay, but definitely still pretty traumatized. After she intervened, she says the group fled in a damaged white sedan. The car was missing a bumper and there was no license plate. Um, the responding officer thought that it was probably stolen. Not far from the spot where the assault occurred, neighbors reported that a young man robbed a woman at gunpoint on the walking running path near Lake Washington <laughs> Boulevard. That should get real sunny. This should get real sunny. <laughs> Yo, and it's like, they're going to not say anything. They're, this attitude right here that she has where you don't call out who's doing it because, it, you know, you're too good. You're She's better. She's doing that out of vanity because she's better than those other racist white people. She's not doing it because she thinks it's the right thing. She's doing it out of vanity, no out shit. of um, superiority. No shit. I'm not like those Trump supporters, those MAGA people who actually never say anything about black people. But in her mind, they're racist, right? So I'm not like them. And uh, I won't say anything about race. I don't see race uh, in all this shit. And that's all virtue signaling and bullshit. But it doesn't help at all, man. Because you need to call out who's doing this shit, man. Um, the responding officer thought that it was probably stolen. Not far from the spot where the assault occurred, neighbors reported that a young man robbed a woman at gunpoint on the walking running path near Lake Washington Boulevard early Tuesday morning near Mount Baker Beach. There are always people walking, like, Every day, every time of the day. Although it won't stop Agnese from visiting the lake, she plans to leave valuables at home. I will keep coming, just paying more attention. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> God. Think about that, man. The things you work hard for, you have to leave them at home. So, because some black kid, the only black person you might see while you're out here, they run up on you and fucking kill, That's try wild. to kill you for that shit. That's wild. Because you're not going to see many black people out here. That literally might be the only black person you see while you're out here.
Agnes said from visiting the lake, she plans to leave valuables at home. I will keep coming, just paying more attention. Eleanor says in light of what she witnessed, she's also considering additional safety measures. Well, we're definitely reevaluating our own, you know, our home security system. We're going to, you know, we're talking to our own kids about, you know, what they can do to stay safe and, um, and for sure just changing, you know, the way we go about our daily lives. We reached out to Seattle. Changing the way we go about our daily lives. So they yeah. basically fucked your whole fucking world up. Go ahead. Uh, I'm from Seattle. In Lake Washington, that, that boulevard, it, it goes along Lake Washington. It's very long, and it starts in a nice glider neighborhood, and it ends in basically sun territory. So th there's a lot of traffic, so this is very brazen. Mm. For sure, just changing, you know, the way we go about our daily lives. We reached out to Seattle Police for more information on Tuesday's incident. Meanwhile, they do confirm they are investigating the assault on the 14-year-old on Sunday. Reporting from Seattle, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News. West Memphis police need your help. They're searching for clues after a teenager was shot and killed at a gas station. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm April Thompson. I'm Alex Coleman. WREG's Jessica Knox shows us what led up to the shooting. Crime scene tape marks the spot where 19-year-old Takai Gardner unfortunately suffered from multiple gunshot wounds, taking his life. You can't run from it. They like, you try to, you try to go to the end. It happened on the end. You try to go to this end. It happened on the end. <laughs> Golly, Jesus Christ. Man, listen, man. Hey. And this is, they're surrounded by sun. Like, this is a sun-dense area. This isn't like, you know, that neighborhood in Seattle where it's mostly gliders and the only sun you might see may be the person that's robbing you. These people right here, they are inundated with you. Um, <laughs> He's inundated. West Memphis. It's, it's, I mean, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> It's just crazy how, like, like I said, everybody knows. Even that white lady in the last store, she fucking knows who she saw hop out of that fucking stolen car and beat the shit out of that kid and take his phone. She saw it. This guy, he's fucking lived here all his life. He knows. Everyone knows. From it, like. You try to you try to go to the end. It's, it happened on the end. You try to go to this end. It happened on the end. You know. Can't run from it. So, this is what we live in. The shooting happened at the sitco on East Broadway just after 7 Tuesday night. We recovered the surveillance video. Take a look at the upper right hand corner. You see a car at a gas pump. It is there for four minutes before Gardner pulls up. The driver of what appears to be a Chevrolet or a Honda finishes pumping his gas and then goes to Gardner's car window. It is unclear where the gunshots came from. However, one person wearing an orange hoodie hops out of Gardner's car and the driver who was pumping his gas quickly runs back to his car and drives off. The gas station owner did not want to go on camera but tells us Gardner had just become a father and came to the gas station regularly. Just keep the kids safe. Brian Garnier is also a father and isn't shocked about the violence. It, it really don't surprise me, but, you know, it happens all the time. But still, he tells me, it's heartbreaking. There's a lot going on right now, so you got teenagers dying for grandparents right now, so, you know, everybody's hoping everybody just stays safe. In West Memphis, Jessica Knox, WREG News, Channel 3. Anyone with any information that could help police is urged to call Crittenden County Crime Stoppers. That number, 870-732-7444. Tonight, yet another confrontation in the cockpit being revealed. A Delta co-pilot facing charges of pulling a gun and threatening to shoot the captain during an argument. Here's Tom Costello. It happened on a Delta. Yo, you got to show us this guy's bitch. <laughs> So sunny, man. So real Yo, sunny. think about it. Just last week, we had the one who had took the mushrooms and tried to crash the plane. You heard about that? The 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 